Hey, Ospan Snako here with another figure review. This time we have the Transformers Prime Deluxe Vertebrake uh, from the Beast Hunter series. Um, I, I generally wasn't going to bother getting for any other Transformers, although I did get the uh, Sergeant Cap because mainly, like I've said, um, Ironhide is my favorite character and I was going to try and customize him. Um, I did really like the uh, Predacon story arc in the uh, series and I was kind of like, not sad, but you know, I was a bit disappointed that there was only, um, well, Predi King and the other two from the movie. Uh, sorry, spoiler. Um, so I thought, for sort of, I'm going to actually get like all of the Predicons. Uh, and this was the first one I picked up. So uh, we, shall, we shall go from there and see what we think. This, like I said, this is the uh, Vertebrac, 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 uh, which is basically a sheer repaint of the Laserback. Uh, figure which I believe uh, came out in the first series. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that um, And let's see what, what I think this figure Um, I think he's actually got some really really great qualities Um, and I also think maybe a few not so good ones Um, but you know, let's go over that Size comparison here. We have a vehicle in vehicle mode um, You know what? I don't think I have any other Transformers transformed right now. Well, that's a Vehicon, so you've seen him in my video, so you should be able to get it from that. And, ah, not someone. Here is his leader, so to speak, the Predator King. Uh, yeah, Deluxe Ultimate. There's like a Voyager in between. I guess Ultimate is supposed to be like a leader class, but there you go. It's quite a. Anyway. Scorsese, pretty king. Um, he's kind of stuck in this position, um, which is a bit. You can move his legs um, all around, and his articulation in vehicle in beast mode is pretty good. His arms can go like forward, back. Kind of have to watch this part on this part. Uh, bend here, rotate here. I'm gonna go for it more in robe. In the robot mode. Now, this I, I one of those things I'd question. His ankle is on a ball, but it kind of goes in here. <laughs> now, even with the transformation, I don't understand why they've done that. I think it would have gone in a lot smoother if they'd done a straight that way or straight that way into the. But whatever, you get quite a great range of motion. No real rotation, no. Bit of a pivot, but not really anything else. The back, you got hinge around, rotation at the knee. Bend here, bend here, uh, bend here, and a ball actually in the actual foot. Tail, nothing. Um, can't move it at all. This is softer rubber, so you can maybe like bend it a bit, but I wouldn't advise it because you'd damage it. And the head, nothing. Well, if you kind of grab the whole assembly, you can bring it down, but only to there. But that's the problem with this, this figure, is he's constantly looking down. Even when you put it back as far as it'll go, his eye line is about here. Even if you try and like, if you stand him up like he's like running or something Like he's actually about to do something apart from just sitting there. He's now looking straight at the ground That's probably my biggest gripe with this figure I would have given tried to give him a bit more articulation in the head and the tail apart from that I have one other gripe um, He has his gimmick on his back which is the back missile and if you pull this down you can Shoot that off. I went flying. Wow. One second, I can't grab it, it's behind something. There we go. Try that again. The missile itself is kind of like a trident almost, but well, a two pronged spear, I guess, not a trident because obviously a trident is a three pronged spear. Um, not quite sure why it's got such a long tail. This is the part that clips in and it fires from this, so why does it need a long tail? Um, you can actually accordion his back part out like that. So you can actually have it a bit more. And these are a soft rubber um, and they can open out. They kind of do, these two little pegs will go into them little holes, but they don't, they sit nicely, but they don't really clip in. So, but they can open out. I don't really know why. Um, it doesn't really reveal anything spectacular. You don't need it to fire the missile. You can get to the button even when it's closed. Um, so I don't know why. Can't really figure that one out. I was thinking maybe it would be for a shield because you can take this off and put it in his hand but he doesn't really hold it that well so that doesn't make sense to me so I don't know 
Um, but you know, they, they've got a nice paint to them, so they look pretty funky. And it's quite cool. The, both, obviously, him and the laser back did it. Uh, anyway, let's put this back in. It's got a groove in his tail, which is quite ugly, as you can see. And that's so you can, uh, yeah, you can put the missile in. Again, I don't know why this missile needs to be so long, but whatever. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I suppose let's get on to the transformation. Um, well, actually, you know, that that's the uh, articulation of the head. I think I showed that as well. Oh, and the jaw does open to there. It's pretty cool. Not much detail in there, though. Uh, <laughs> he's only got two teeth on top, and that's it. But anyway, so yeah, transformation. To transform in, grab tail and pull it down. Pull that out straight away. That's his weapon. Uh, you can leave the back on. Oh, no, you can't actually. You have to accordion this out. And you can take it off if you want, or you can just pull it like up to there. Then you want to bring the tail up as high as you can. And then that should go should go there. Before it's gonna clip on if it doesn't. Close this part together like that. And then you can then angle the feet down straight in the knee. This little peg here will go in this groove, but it's very tight. So you have to do that and try and straighten out. He does have chicken feet in robot mode and in like beast mode. That's kind of cool. Grab shoulders, pull them apart like so. Grab this little flap here, pull this down. Grab the nose. You want to kind of start pointing that and pull this part here. Now, when I go back into beast mode, there's actually a problem out, which I will show you later. Now you want to kind of get it under that so it goes under there put the flap up close these back open close these back open oh, I'm doing well today bring these down bring these down bring these spikes back and put them down <clears throat> get out of the way you want to then grab the wrist and it pivots on the screw here so if you kind of either push the spike up pull the wrist down and the hand will ungrab the little mechanism in there. Rotate it around kind of a 180, rotate his hand. Same on the other side. And bring his head forward a bit. Bring shoulder pads out. Now the pictures don't actually show the shoulder pads out, but why give him hidden shoulder pads if you're not gonna use them? So I do it that way. Put his weapon in his hand, like so, and there we have Verta Vertebrake. Forgot his name. Yeah, Vertebrake. I was right. Uh, in his robot mode. Um, can I say he's, he's a pretty cool robot? You know, um, does look pretty decent. Okay, size comparison. Here we have a Viacom. As you can see, he's quite bulkier, but not much taller. But I think he's, yeah, he's shorter. Uh, let's bring the camera up. Uh, here we have a knockout, who he's bigger than. Where's Soundwave, of course. And Starscream. You can see he's got quite, um, he's actually shorter than all of these. Uh, I think Knockout's the only one that's shorter than him. Um, but if I get these guys out of the way, of course, whoops. Oh, he fell over. I will show you Megatron. As you can see, Megatron's massive compared to him. And then finally, none other than the king himself. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Elvis Presley. Oh, oh thank you very much. Uh, pretty king. Um, yeah, he's up there somewhere. But <laughs> shorter than his leg. Enough said, really. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty king. <laughs> Bring the camera back down. Anyway, you know, the one thing that kind of uh, maybe put me off a little bit is this bright, bright yellow 
yeah, an orange. It's very, very, very bright. But it's not like it works. It's a very tigery kind of look. So it does work really well. Um, and I do like it a lot more than I thought I was going to, to be honest. Um, the thing I don't like about it in robot mode is his claws are just there. If they were in the joint I was saying, like they went in like that or a ball went out like that, then you could ro the, rotate them around 360. Right now, you can't. Uh, maybe if you unpegged it and put it on the other wrist, but, but you can't. So he kind of got his claws just under his hands, which I think looks a bit not happy about that. And they're not even pegged in, so they still move. So that's probably my biggest gripe in robot mode. Um, apart from that, yeah, I mean, if you've got a great look, he's, he's just pretty cool he's really really nice he's got his nice like vicious spikes coming off his back um some nice like little detail here and his head's really well hidden or his beast head's really well hidden in there so that's pretty funky um <clears throat> not a big fan of this i think this looks weird it does look a bit better if you kind of put it in upside down because then it kind of looks a bit more like an axe maybe but right now i'm not a big fan of it as i said this does come off um, and you're supposed to be able to get him to hold it, but it doesn't hold it that great, and not with the missile. Um, but I was thinking maybe take the missile out and open up the flaps. I was thinking maybe it could look like a shield, but as I said, it doesn't hold it that great. Do you know, maybe that's not terrible. That's the only thing I can really think of. It's supposed to be like a shield, but. He just doesn't really hold it that well, so it doesn't peg in the bottom there. The only place you can put it in is his hand, and the top of his hand it doesn't go in the bottom of his hand. But, I don't know. Either way, it's pretty cool as a missile launcher that just goes on his back, or a cannon, or whatever you want to call put it as. Just wish the flaps would kind of stay a bit more closed, and this missile wasn't long. I think I'll probably cut the missile short if I won't take throw it away altogether. But you can now also like record him up like that and you can have a missile shoot him from his head and deafen himself. Uh, articulation in the robot mode. His arms are on ball pegs going straight to there. So they can go around full 360 degrees. They can go up to about there. They kind of look like they want to pop out, but they're in there really snug. I haven't tried, um, so I don't want to loosen them, but they haven't like come out accidentally yet. You get kind of almost a pivot on the arm as you can see that's kind of pretty cool uh, there's a cut uh, just above the elbow so full 360 there minus the spike go full 360 around and you have a bend of you know it's not quite 90 well I don't know actually no it's not quite 90 but it's pretty good it's pretty good the wrist the hands are on a uh, rotation they can go around full 360 degree not on a ball so that's it just a rotation you can probably get more out of them due to transformation but the head is on a ball and in mine's quite it's kind of weird it's loose but it's also tight in certain angles so that's quite tight but then that's like really loose so that's weird i think there's a maybe a bit of plastic in there i might unscrew it and take it apart and put a bit of glue on it we shall see nothing at all so nothing in the waist hips are just slightly off a teacup they're kind of like like that but when they're open they're like that so that's a bit weird so that's a bit meh but anyway spartan of only that not massive cutting the knees you can go around from there to there due to the knee pad bend in the knee so you can bend that all the way down there it's pretty cool almost a double joint uh, you can guess you can use this one as well, but I wouldn't in robot because you know it kind of defeats it. Hinge in the ankle there, and then a ball in the foot, so you can get a great, great range of dramatic poses with that. So that's pretty cool. So I've always got a great range of articulation. Oh, and the hinge here for his missile cannon. All in all, great range of articulation, and I think he's actually a really good figure. Um, I'm very happy that I got him, and I. I want to get a lot more. I, I really like these uh, Beast Hunters so far. Um, like I said, I'm not a massive fan of figures that aren't in the show, but so be it. Um, now they come with uh, bios, I believe. I've lost it. Am I mistaken? I am mistaken. I'm just grabbing the instructions. I thought I saw a bio on there. But they're not. No bios, no nothing, just figures as they are. Right, anyway, um, let's transform him back. So to transform back, 
take his tail out from his hand, put that to the side. Now you need to angle the hands upwards because then they go in, they actually grab hold of this like little bit of gear thing you can hear. So rotate that round, make sure the thumb goes high. Now it should actually clip like that. Same on this one, grab the hand, bring it round, clip. Um, <clears throat> you want to bend these in, just kind of like accordion them down really. They don't really, not really any specific transformation, just to like bend them down. Um, and then grab the shoulders, bring the flaps down, the shoulder pads down, and pull the shoulders apart, bring the tail out, separate the hips, and that literally just sits there, it doesn't clip or anything. But you can then bring this down and accordion it all the way in. It's only held in there by friction on the sides, so there's no clip or anything there. Once you've done that, bring the feet down a bit, point the head forward, bring the head the beast head out, you want to kind of angle it like that and then bring it straight up like that. So kind of keep it pointing nose down always and bring it up there. Grab these little spiky bits and bring them up. Now this is a common occurrence that I've noticed with all the laser beak and um, vertebrae that I've seen is these spikes are too big and at the wrong angle for these holes. That's where they're supposed to go. I've tried to cut mine down a bit to try and get them to go into a bow, but even they're not great because you'll see that when I try and do it, you still don't really get a snug. That's a lot better than some, but you still don't really get a snug fit. For some reason, they kind of messed up on that. Um, but whatever. Anyway, close the chest back down, put him in a canine position. And then just grab his tail, it just goes under there. And there we have Vertebrake back in his beast mode. Um, as I said, very, very cool figure. Um, I do, do recommend him. Um, very, very, very cool. Uh, though not in a series, although he might be one of the, uh, spoiler, might be one of the, 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 the ones from the actual movie, kind of like the undead ones, I'm not too sure. But as a figure itself, very, very cool. Anyway, there you guys, thanks a lot for watching. Please leave your link uh, comments below. Uh, please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.